So uh, we are on to problem number 14 of the MIT Integration B Qualifying Exams 2013, which is a definite integral from x equals to 0 to x equals to 256 of x minus the flow function of x all squared. So let's, um, let's see how we can solve this. So this is our problem, right? The integral from x equals 0 to, 200, to x equals to 256 of x minus the flow function of x squared. So the question is, what is the flow function? Flow function simply is a function that takes x and coughs out uh, the integer k when um, the value x or the real number x is greater or equal to k or less than k plus 1, right? Such that when we have um, a plot 0 to 256, right? Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 256, Between 0 and 1, the flow function will be there. Between 1 and 2, the flow function will be at 1. Between um, 2 and 3, the flow function will be at 3, and so on and so on. Such that when now we do have x, it means now the difference between x and the flow function will be these triangles here. Right. So these are going to be what we're going to be focusing on, but we do have to square the value uh, of that, the differences. Um, and as you can see, these values are the same um, throughout. Let's look at the more analytical way of solving this problem. Uh, but I, I, I could pretty much just focus on 0 and 1 and then get multiplied by uh, the 256 pesos that we have. Right? Um, so if that's a way we could solve it, let's say uh, between 0 and 1, right? What is x minus 0, right, between 0 and 1. So that squared will be equal to x squared. So the integral from 0 to 1 of x squared dx is going to be equal to a third x cubed 0 to 1, which is equal to a third. But then there are 256 spaces. So that means that the integral from 0 to 256 of x minus the flow function of x squared dx is equal to 256 times a third, which is 256 over 3. So that is the fast way. That is one way of solving it. Um, but it's not very interesting. Let's look at a more interesting way. Right? Um, so the integral from that to x minus dx. This is the same as um, stripping things. We have k equals to, from k equals to 0 to k equals to 255 because we are looking at the lower uh, value of k and we're integrating from k to k plus 1 and in each strip we have x minus k right that is that is how we would solve it right now looking at this um, I would like to this is a little bit messy I could say let 
u be equal to x minus k such that du dx equals to 1 and that means I could substitute du for dx. Now another important thing we have x and we have u when x equals to k x is 0 when x is equals to k plus 1 uh, u is 1. So that means that another means that our integral from k equals 0 to 255 or from x equals to k to k plus 1 of x minus k squared x is same as integral from k equals to 0 to 255 integral from u equals to 0 to 1 of u squared du so which is equals to integral from k equals 0 to 255 over third u cube 0 1 which is equals to k equals to 0 255 over third right and that means we have a third 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 all the way to 255 but my q we're beginning from 0 it's not from 1 so in other words this becomes 1 over 3 times 256 which means that our integral uh, from uh, x equals 0 to 256 of x minus the flow function of x equals to 256 over 3. And ladies and gentlemen, that is our answer. So thank you very much. Until next time, bye-bye.